Hello everybody, Jocelyn here and today I want to talk about something um, positive. We have a positive experience from my past. Shocking, I know. Um, but I wanted to do something that's not, oh my god, poor me. I went through so much torture and trauma when I was a child. Not all of my stories are of bad things. So I wanted to share this, um, you know, instead of complaining all the time. So, I will set the scene. I was having a house party with a new friend of mine and his best friend. Um, and I will point out they were both guys. Uh, and what with it being a party, there was drinking included. Uh, so what we were drinking was this drink called Mickey Finn, which for those of you who don't know, it's a sour fruit alcohol drink. It's like 15% proof. Um, if you're thinking about trying it, don't try the, uh, the uh, other flavours. Only do the apple flavour. The rest are disgusting. Uh, <laughs> But uh, we were drinking the apple sour uh, flavour drink um, and we will always remember that, that night as the night of the Mickey Finn for this very reason. I think we were drinking other things as well but that was like the main thing that we were drinking. So it was a warm September evening and we spent a little bit of time out on the balcony and I can't remember exactly what happened because, hello, drinking. Um, but the best friend, on some kind of complete whim, decided to, you know, just just strip. Just strip completely naked. Um, I don't know why. I think maybe he wanted to get some fresh air down there. Because <laughs> who doesn't want to do that? Um... And I remember I wasn't exactly unhappy with this arrangement, you know. Uh, so the other friend uh, didn't really want to be left out, so he stripped off as well. And I'm like, wow. Well. <laughs> Hello. Um, and I remember I made some sort of comment like, oh, well, I know what I'd usually do in this sort of situation. And uh, the, uh, the first guy who stripped off said, well, what's stopping you? And uh, things kind of got heated from there. Um, I started to, you know, touch them and ended up getting naked myself. And dot, dot, dot. The rest is, is you know, between us three. Um, so... The memory of this night is infamous for all three of us. Um, the first guy who got naked and I, we explored a little bit sexually over the part, like the, over the next month. Um, but then he got into a monogamous relationship with someone. And as far as I know, they are now married. And I was a little bit disappointed because I had so much yet to teach him. Um, but you know, it's fine. We had a little bit of an experiment and the other friend and I, we actually were on and off continually with our sexual exploration for about four years. So what is the point of mentioning this story other than, you know, hello, it's got sex. Uh, well, both of the guys before this incident happened, um, identified completely as heterosexual. And uh, that all changed because of me and because of the alcohol. So, uh, by being open to new experiences, the two of them discovered their, you know, unexplored parts of their personality and their sexuality and even, even you know, on top of that, their other friend, who was deeply homophobic, slowly came around and eventually met me and realised that, uh, you know, the
the gays aren't so scary after all. And it was just really good to be a part of that. You know, all of those fun times and all of the opening of minds and all of the orgasms. Can't complain about the orgasms, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I um, hope that this encourages anyone out there to not be afraid to experiment because there's no shame in it and you could discover something really, really fun. And no, I am not going into details. So, uh, thank you. See you soon. Goodbye.